Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Unless you are new, then hi, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to be watching another film that has been highly, highly requested. <laughs> so about a year ago, I watched Centrinians for the first time, which is an absolute British cult classic. Like you've got to see Centrinians. It's such a weird film, but it was just incredible at the same time. <laughs> so today we are going to be watching Centrinians 2, which you guys have been requesting maybe the most out of anything I've watched. I'm really, really excited to watch this because the first one was weird, it was wacky, it was funny, it was just incredible. It was just so good. And as I went to buy this one because it's not available on any streaming platforms, you have to rent it or buy it. So I rented it and I saw that David Tennant is in this one. I love David Tennant. I think he's an incredible actor. I don't think he gets enough praise for how good he is as an actor. I saw his face and his name, and now I'm even more excited for this film. <laughs> but I'm very excited, so we should get straight on into this. We're getting Pirates of the Caribbean vibes. Already not what I'm expecting. <laughs> the high seas, 1589. I already don't know what's going on. It's been 10 seconds. <laughs> This is already absolutely incredible. Oh my god, it's two of them again! No, it's not! It's David Denham! Everything wrong with men taking orders from the weaker sex. David! It's right! I'm right! 2.11 to control, over. They're back. <laughs> too scared of Centrillion girls. To be fair, me too, so. Ah, <laughs> oh, it's the Fiat 500 girls. <gasps> Wait, is this where it originated from? <gasps> it's Sarah Harding from Girls Aloud. You know what? I knew she was in this, but I thought it was the first one. No, because they were in the first one. At the end, the Girls Aloud performed. Wait, so is she in Girls Aloud still? Is she still in Girls Aloud or is she a whole different new character that isn't Sarah Harding? What goes on tour, stays on tour. <gasps> I think she is in, I think she is Sarah Harding. Time to come great, like Mother Teresa or Lady Gaga. <laughs> <laughs> Mother Teresa, Lady Gaga. Yeah, you know what? They do fall under the same bracket. Amy, Amy. Oh my God, they're all Amy Winehouse. Oh, it's so British, it's amazing. I'll just find my own space, cheers. <sighs> so Sarah Harding's in this. Still don't know if she's meant to be Sarah Harding. Are we meant to assume she's a teenager because she's clearly not in this? <laughs> I was like, what's, what's, what are they angry about? The sun. I know it's Colin Firth, but you can also be angry at the sun always. We just got something really suspicious on CCTV. <gasps> Someone just went into the library. <gasps> oh my God, they really don't know they have a library. To be fair, I think the amount of times I went into my school library. Oh my God, I don't think I ever did. I'm just thinking about it, I know where it is. Have I ever been in it? I don't think so. I don't think I went in. I've never seen him before. He told me where it was, said he'd pay me 20,000 if I got it. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'd do that. 20,000 pounds on. Turbines. Uh, well. Wind power. I, I guess that's an investment. The ice caps are melting. They are. Sea levels are rising. They are. Climate change is the most important issue our generation faces. It's true. And this is what, like 10, 12 years old? We're still in the same point. I'd say it was a ring. Oh, yeah, definitely a ring. <laughs> no idea how old. Yeah. That's my girl. Really old. It's well old. <sighs> I'm so close. You an offer? Twenty thousand pounds. I love how <laughs> they're all made to talk in this. Twenty thousand pounds. Excellent work, girls. They are uh, very. Ass to me, it seems like all these girls are absolute geniuses. <laughs> yep, yeah, I can. I can see that. Archibald Fritton. 
handsome sea dog who boards the ship overpowers the I love it. It just plays everyone in the family. Other than Annabelle, obviously, because that's a whole other ball game. And engraved half the information on each of them. I see. Hey, that is one of the rings. So that's how they can find the treasure, which is why they would pay so much. Is that person always there with that bit of wire on their toe? Wait. Uh huh. Are they gonna? They are. They are gonna dart them. Like, like wild animals. What the, should I call you? Well, that's a handy place to have a trap door. I, I, if I was them, I'd be getting out of there. Like, that's terrifying. I heard of the wall of sound. I've had the sound of the underground. Imagine being a burglar and this happens to you. You'd honestly be like, I'm just gonna go home. I don't, I'm not getting paid for this. <laughs> no, they're acting like that. <laughs> no, no way. Ah, the particular soldiers. Hello? Not in the girls' dorm. Hey! What's up, David Tennant? Auntie! Auntie! No, don't take her! Oh! Hello? Are we in Twilight? The Illuminati? What did he find? A widow! A widow? A really old widow. Left by pirate Fritton himself. Oh. Oh, 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 a riddle. What's a whittle? What's a whittle? Why do they all react like what's a whittle? Because death's just like, you know, life. Like with all the crap bits taken out. Like poverty and fascism. And Miley Cyrus. <gasps> How dare you? I was on board until you said the words Miley Cyrus. How dare you? Here's somebody you might know. <gasps> it's not going to be Colin Firth. Oh, no. Could they not have taken a picture together for this? Why did they have to Photoshop a picture? Excuse me if I don't get up. Maybe for the first time. Oh, oh, I feel, I feel like I didn't need to know that. Don't look at me. <laughs> AD1. AD1. What does that They've say? got members. Every crook and nanny. Government. The government. Army. The army. Police for. The police. Yeah. God, it's. What's the plot, Fred? It's like the Tories. Did they not want to bring gloves? No. Just like the spirit. Is like she gonna sneeze? Bianca, can you hear us? Oh, yeah. ah! She's not the one that's dragged us here. Bless, bless you, vile creatures. Oh. oh. Oh, this took a took a turn. <laughs> well, that was that was interesting. Oh, she's still she's still possessed. So my name is Georgiana, and I'm proud to be able to say that I haven't had a drink for six years now. <laughs> no, what? This girl's like seven. <laughs> Not the people being Amy Winehouse there as well. <laughs> The people being everyone else, no! Hey, you come down here immediately! I am not! She's just flowing! Scourge of the Bavarian host markets! Terror! <laughs> what the hell is going on? It is a school! I was right! It, it's Britain's school! We, we cracked it! We cracked it! Get in! You know what? I'm proud of them! I'm, I'm really enjoying this one, I think more than the other, because we're actually getting to know the characters, which I enjoy, because all the characters are really, really good. 
We're at the boys' school. I went to an all-girls school and there was an all-boys school. It wasn't quite like this though, but it was goddamn awful. This is uh, Bufty Rolls Royce and... Uh, Bufty Rolls Royce. Great guys. Yeah, great guys. <laughs> yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. This is Summer Beach, yeah? Like... No one saw them. They're invisible. <laughs> <gasps> Not the headmaster. Headmaster lies between. But how do you get that? Because it's just painted on. And is it under? <laughs> oh! <laughs> how do, how have choirs not caught onto this? This is quite the beat. Why, why is everyone chasing them, including the cricket club? <laughs> oh, it was, it was in the painting. Oh, I knew that. We need the longitude. We need the other ring. Yes. Do they not okay. keep note of it? Oh, don't you think this whole idea is just a wee bit unfeasible? I still don't know why Sarah Hardy said. <laughs> Not just any old secret society, they were formed 500 years ago with one aim in mind, the repression and the subjugation of women. Oh! Do you all remember? Oh, that's a... That's quite the cult. We know about breaking into high security vaults. Not much. But I know a girl that does. Oh, yeah, I was that. Oh, she's already there. Yeah! She's so fit! Sorry, I sounded like such a guy then. <laughs> she's so fit! <laughs> They could have at least not worn red lipstick so that when they, the, the, the hoods were here they wouldn't be able to tell that they're most likely woman because they're wearing bright red lipstick. I love- I'm obsessed with the fact the twins are there. I'm obsessed with the fact they've brought like seven year old twins. Are you wearing lipstick, Kent? <gasps> That's what I said! That's why they have the twins. That is why they have the twins. What's that? Freon, it's a freezing gas to counteract the heat sensors. Oh my god, they have winter coats as well. Where are they getting these things from? Wait, you're telling me that this cult is killing all the successful women? Ah, he's wearing it. Of course he is. Must. Mission over. Take the ring. He's gonna take the ring. Took the ring. I saw him grab. He's gonna go. Oh. Let's still get us of here. There he is. No. He's a traitor and a coward. And if I see him again, so him. Hey. And he has. No! Oh. I thought it was going to show the ring. The ring! They have all the pieces. It's in London. It's in London? Right by the Thames. It's in London by the Thames? Of course it's in London. The Globe Theatre! I'm aware of that place. I don't know where it is though. I guess in London by the Thames. <laughs> look, look at that fit! It actually goes so hard. I want them crushed, I want them destroyed. Don't worry, son. We have an extensive network of He's so good at being a villain. I think because I grew up with him being in Doctor Who being in Doctor Who. I always saw him as like a protagonist, but maybe he is the villain. I mean, this, Harry Potter, 
He is, he's very good at it. Oh. Oh, we're flash mobbing. Like I said, cannot predict this film. You just never know what's gonna happen. Apparently we're flash mobbing. Babe, hmm? call security right now. Okay. I would think twice about that if I were you. Rah! Oh God. Rah was sword fighting. But he's, he's been called to the stage. <laughs> I don't think he's dead. Um. Well, you, you nearly killed him. <laughs> I like to think when it's these scenes and you see a big crowd of people like that, that they have no idea this is happening, that they actually were there to see Romeo and Juliet and this, this was happening. And you're like, oh my God, it's Colin Firth. What's happening? <laughs> Help me now. They just know the whole of Romeo and Juliet off by heart. I mean, that is some skill. She's very good. <laughs> very good. I reckon there's a door in that wall. What are you doing? Looking for a secret door? That's what I said. You always have a secret door. Yeah, Chelsea, I said. You truly are. <gasps> I was right. I was right. Wait, was that someone nudging his arm or was he, was that hit someone pulling his arm or was he, uh, I thought he was doing something. Oh my God, I thought he was doing something. The treasure has to be in here, right? It must be here. That's what I just said. Havoc and let's slip the darts of war. Where did he? Where did he just go? Under the stage? What's, what's this? Here. There was a little note. Is it just gonna be like poems and love letters? Fighting many in this room with Shakespeare as a nom de plume. A nom de what? Yeah. <laughs> a what? No, it can't be. What? Pirate Fritton was Shakespeare. Shakespeare was a girl. Ciao. Uh, he just has a gun. Yeah, we Pomfries have known for generations that your celebrated sea dog was a she dog. <gasps> I can't believe it. Hello. They have a pirate ship. Where did a pirate ship come from? Imagine just driving around London and then this is happening. Yeah! And now they're doing it for the fun of it. Oh! What did they hear? Hello? <laughs> What's happening? We're gonna get girls allowed again. Oh, it's the end. <laughs> Sorry. Wait, this is the end. That was absolutely beautiful. That was amazing. Thank you. Well, 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 well. That 
was incredible. That was amazing. I thoroughly enjoyed myself, truly. <laughs> so yeah, that was Centrillion's 2. I've gotta say, I actually think I preferred this to the first one. I think it was a lot more put together, maybe? It was a lot more clearer. I liked that you got more into multiple characters. Um, I liked the story, it was weird, it was wacky as, as the first one was as well, but I really enjoyed that one, that one was really good. The first one was also very good, but I don't know, I just think I preferred this one. But yeah, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and let me know down below if there's any other films you would like me to watch on this channel. Sadly, there is not a third one of this. I really, really wish there was. Honestly, they could have done a few of these. I'm surprised they stopped at two, but... At the same time, it's probably a good thing they stopped at two because otherwise it just gets a little bit overkill. But thank you very much for watching. Make sure to leave a thumbs up and hit subscribe if you haven't already. And I will hopefully see you all again very soon.